Hey ghouls, my name is Alexandra and I'm from Belarus and working on my course online about sexy pictures, about photography Ooh. and I'm really working hard and my course is super great and yeah. I enjoy to work in this field but still in the same time I'm spending so much energy and sometimes I feel me so much exhausted Ooh. and I don't know how to keep my energy off me. Yep, I'm there. Sensory. I hope you understood my question and I really need your help. Thank you. Wow, fabulous. I've completely been there. Let's get into it. Let's do some unlearn. Welcome, 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 welcome to Unlearn. To Unlearn. So, Alex, what it sounds like you're telling me is how do you not burn yourself out doing the work you love? And that's a really good fucking question because you might be surprised how many people struggle with that one. And the answer is it's a little bit about balance. If you have some system of setting boundaries or setting limits around your time and how much you invest into a particular thing, even if you really love it, practicing a little bit of self-care in respect to like maybe your body or your mind, feeding some animals, uh, watching your favorite show, things that are arguably mindless and pleasurable, and giving yourself small daily goals, things that you can measure in like a day-to-day -day space. <laughs> maybe I'll brush my teeth twice today. Something like this, something that is so measurable that you can really see progress in what you're trying to do. Here's where the resistance comes into play. Taking time away from work to do things that are not work is a really difficult thing to do. A lot of times what you'll end up finding is that, I don't know, 15, 20 percent of your mind is actually occupied still thinking about the things that you're trying to forget in order to enjoy your time. It can be really challenging. So this is what potentially takes us to your real question, which is how do you prepare your mind to be present in a situation where your work isn't involved, when you're feeding pigeons, for example? How do you make sure that you're there and you're not feeling guilty the whole time so the whole thing was wasted and you should have just been working anyways. It'll be different for everybody, so ultimately if you can figure out a an answer to that question, you'll be able to have a system that can give you a little bit of balance in your life, both in finishing the work that, you're, that inspires you and keeps you excited, but also making sure that your physical body, your mental self, and anything else is still healthy and getting used. Thanks for the question, Alex. For those of you guys who also have questions, go ahead and submit on our community page or on our website. Really quick, Future Goose here. Before you go, if you're having trouble finding like-minded people, click here. Sorry, actually right here. Okay, bye. Have fun, make friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>